time to wake up. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, your boy Jay Sama is in the building and I'm bringing you guys another Watch Dogs 2 video. Today, if you cannot tell from the title, we are talking about the season pass. Now, uh, don't worry, I got you guys. The season pass uh, trailer is actually in the description section. Now, this video came out uh, a while back, but I wanted to kind of play the game first before I really gave my two cents on it because you can only guess so much from not playing the game a month before the game comes out. Uh, so we're going to talk about all the packs here. Uh, hopefully I can do this as quickly as possible, but I'm in that regard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the simplest, lamest, like straightforward answer I could give you for a lot of stuff. The first pack, let's talk about this, is the T-Bone content pack. Now, uh, the T-Bone pack comes with, I guess, the simplest way I can put it, it's a goddamn monster truck that you get, okay? It is a armored bus that you can drive around. Uh, yo, this thing looks pretty dope. I can't wait to just wreck buttholes with this thing. Um, this seems like something that I would love to use online and just troll people with, so that'll be a lot of fun. We also get a couple of new outfits, so that's going to be, uh, you know, put into the game. Hopefully, there are going to be content updates that are free to the game, and it just adds more clothes to the game. Hopefully, that happens, because the selection of clothes is already pretty vast. Uh, some more would be cool, so it would be appreciated. If not, I mean, no sweat off my back. Now, here's the part of this pack that I don't particularly care for, and all three of the packs actually have that. Um, you get smarter or I guess you could say more difficult enemies now this seems a little strange to me hopefully this is like a free update um, because it doesn't seem that seems a little strange that that would be in paid content uh, that you get a whole new difficulty mode so that's like the division adding a whole new uh, difficulty level which this pack does uh, only for people who have the first or second DLC pack who have that DLC pack I guess you could say so that just seems a little weird to me that they're adding a difficulty level that you can only access if you have uh, DLC now how does that does that work if I have DLC and my friend does not does he still get to play it like is there a pairing system hopefully the answer is yes if not that this just seems like the silliest thing that you could put in this pack honestly uh, so moving on to pack number two which is the human conditions pack uh, this is really interesting because they say there are three new hour-long story missions. Now, when I look at verbiage like this, and from working in marketing and working at, you know, game publishing and stuff like that, my background, I'm looking at this like, okay, so are they all three hours or is it three new hours of content? Like, in total, like, is every mission at least one hour? That would be a total of three additional hours into the game. Or is it that every mission is at least three hours? So I'm thinking that second thing is definitely not going to happen. And I'm honestly thinking the first thing's not very likely either. I don't think uh, all this content is going to be uh, three hours. I think if you're um, proficient enough by the time this comes out, uh, you, and these missions are not going to take you an hour, most likely. Uh, so anyway, going into the uh, first mission that you unlock, that you get in the game uh, for purchasing this pack, it's called Automata, uh, which is ba the, basically the way the trailer explains it is that you're exposing a bio car company that's like corrupt or something. It's very vague, and I I'm very interested to see where this goes. It looks kind of interesting, and they introduce a new car, which I assume is called the Automata. Uh, it looks dope, like it looks amazing. This is something that I would pay for. This is something that should be exclusive to a DLC pack, but you can use it in open lobbies. That would be cool, and people just try to steal your car from you and stuff. Obviously, that's not going down because you could just blow everything up. So, uh, the second mission that you get is Bad Medicine featuring my boy Jordy from Watch Dogs 1. So, if you guys are not familiar with him, maybe you guys should go pick up that game. He's a savage, okay? That, that is the simplest way I can put it. Uh, and in this pack, uh, you actually go up against the Russian mob. And that is literally it. That is all the information that they give us in the trailer. So, hopefully, that has to do with, like, some type of drug smuggling ring and, uh, you know, maybe quite possibly some uh, human trafficking or pharmaceutical shit 
that's in the game so hopefully we see what happens there that is literally as vague as i could like i could think of like 10 ways to possibly like have that dlc go um but the last one is caustic progress which you actually participate with lenny now i'm not going to give you guys as much information about lenny as the trailer did the trailer basically is just like oh yeah she's uh you know the enemy to dead second blah 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 it kind of goes into a little bit of detail but i assume either you guys don't have the game or you're interested in the game uh so the pack you actually she's an enemy in the game uh so you end up working with her which doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever uh <laughs> And uh, you're basically trying to take down this entire this company that is experimenting with homeless people. Once again, super vague. Not sure where that's going. I'm not necessarily interested in that pack, but I am also kind of interested in the additional stuff that comes in this pack apparently there are new elite co-op missions no very vague on how many number of co-op missions it's probably three uh and there's another uh there's another set of new enemies that join the game now this is one of those ones i'm not particularly happily ha particularly happy with uh, because hopefully this is a free patch this portion this portion and the new difficulty level are are free patches that come with the game and if you uh get you know the uh dlc or the season pass or whatever uh it's already in there uh except obviously if you get the dlc you get the new co-op mission which should include a new difficulty level only because you do have that exclusive dlc i don't think uh enemies in particular should be exclusive like that just doesn't make any sense because if you go to certain areas on the map and that's where those enemies are exclusively at it's like if you go there and you don't have the dlc pack you don't get to interact with any of those characters and stuff like that so um i think the new enemies should be free the difficulty uh and elite co-op missions as they call it should be dlc like that that'll work like lock that um and then the last one which is extremely vague uh is no compromise now no compromise has a new co-op mode and it. it's basically it looks like team deathmatch uh dead sec versus primate um that's as plain and simple as i can you know tell once again the pack is very vague and you get a new story mission which once again no information on this so i feel like that pack is not necessarily ready yet and given the number of online modes that are available in this game compared to the first game it's kind of lacking in that regard so hopefully that pack will bring some new stuff i personally uh, would kind of be interested in a aiden pierce storyline i i think no compromise should have something that kind of uh, you know brings Aiden Pierce into the game because if you've already played the game I'm gonna spoil this for you right now I'm sorry Aiden Pierce is in the game like you you enter like you see him uh, I'm not sure about interaction or anything like that I'm not gonna go into that with you guys uh, we also know Jordy is in the game he's clearly in the game it just makes sense uh, T-Bone in the game they give it away in the trailers he's he's basically all in and out of the game uh, now one character and I'll make a video on this for you guys one character I do want to see is Clara so I want to see Clara make a return. That would be that would be amazing, uh, or at least some type of nod to Clara because we have no idea where where her ass is at at all. So, but if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I make daily content, literally every single day. We're talking live streams, we're talking videos, we're talking everything. So. Um, but that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys interested in getting the Watch Dogs 2 Season Pass? Uh, I personally, not interested in the Season Pass. Not at all. Uh, it, it sparks my interest a little bit, but I need more information. I need more. Uh, DLC packs that consist of very, very small, of one vehicle, a couple of new outfits, some smarter AI that I may or may not be able to get in free content packs. Um, three new missions really the human conditions mission uh dlc seems like it's the only one that's actually worth something that's adding something completely new to the game but that's just my personal uh experience that's my personal preference on it uh let me know what you guys think so uh but that is it for today i will catch you guys tomorrow this has been your boy just jay sama and i will catch you guys later make sure to keep it canon you know how far it is jay don't complain just watch the booty cheeks swerve on the sidewalk and it'll encourage you <laughs> Uh, like Quinceanera is when a uh, Hispanic female turns 15, and now she's a woman. That is when she loses her virginity. Oh my no, God, are you be... fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? His room is that he got raped in that game. Do you really think Cloud took it in the ass? Like no. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, do. like there's like everything. <laughs> like oh, and there was a nigga behind me too. Oh, so he taking you from the back too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man is dying. <laughs>
Because he got like all the inappropriate jokes, bro. 